A river long profile is a drawing showing the river's journey from source to mouth. The source is the highest point, the mouth is the lowest point, the upper course is the steeper section, usually in the hills and the mountains. Here is the River Nairn in northern Scotland. It flows northeast to the sea at Nairn from the Grampian Mountains. Here is the upper valley. The watershed is the line of the edge of the drainage basin. The streams flow north here. The smaller streams are called tributaries. The land above 300 metres, or thereabouts, is moorland. Well, here we are getting ready to go on our river exploration. <laughs> The mountains here receive nearly 2,000 millimetres of rain a year. Why so much? These clouds have travelled from the southwest, from the Caribbean Sea, where there are high levels of evapor evaporation from the sea. The warm, moist air travels across the Atlantic in maybe about 10 days. When it rises over the Scottish hills and mountains, it cools and condenses and it rains. It's called precipitation. Here you can see some right now. On the OS map, a source is where the thin blue line starts, like this. Tributaries like this one feed the main river. The soil is called peat. Peat is porous, so it acts like a sponge. It gets soaked by the rainfall and the excess runs off on the surface. Surface runoff. When it rains again, the same thing happens again. Heather grows on the peat and in places grass, grass which is grazed by sheep. Where the ground is really wet, saturated, you find mosses and rushes. As you walk towards the stream, the ground gets wetter. You can hear the stream and makes a bubbly, busy kind of noise. The water is a brown colour, like Coca-Cola, because it's stained by the peat. The stream is quite narrow. You can jump across quite easily. Go! The stream heads downhill to join the main river on the floodplain. The river here is fairly wide like two or three meters. This section is straight because embankments have been built to keep it contained as it passes under the road bridge. The river is not very deep, yeah, about down. 20 centimeters, and the water is cold even in okay. August. If you throw a ball in, you'll find that it does not float on the fastest water but there are places where the water swirls around the stones and boulders. The river deposits boulders, stones and sand and carries them when it has enough energy. The more rainfall there is, the higher the river, the more erosion and transport will take place. Big boulders. Some of them fairly smooth, a little bit of sand. Here is the path of the river as it flows down the valley heading northeast. Heading down the valley, you see single Scottish houses spread out like this one.
Here the river is about two metres wide, but it's also about 50 centimetres deep. And you can feel how powerful it is if you roll up your trousers and step in. The floodplain here provides farmers with grazing for sheep and cows. The soil is not very fertile and the climate is too harsh for most crops. Our next stop is at the bridge where the A9 crosses the river at Daviot. The A9 is the main trunk road from Stirling up to Inverness in the north. Here, the floodplain is narrow. The river cuts through a section of granite. Granite is igneous rock and is resistant to erosion. The river is deep and the flow is much greater because many tributaries have fed into the river upstream, bringing water from a large area of moorland. The strongest flow is usually where the river is deepest. Think about the key terms we have mentioned so far. Do you understand all of them? Our next film is coming up part three.